Okay, I've got it working very quickly. I think it's just purely word dependent. Have a look at the screen, I won't switch you back. But just have a look here, I selected the word proposed. If we go proposed, uh, hang on. Why has that got a green thing? Right. Go down at synonyms, you get various suggestions there. Suggested, that would work. Recommended would work, but I'm going to go to the thesaurus. When I click on thesaurus, for some reason I, I actually get the thesaurus. Maybe the words I was trying weren't listed in the thesaurus, but here we see a British thesaurus, and you can see, like most thesauruses, you've got little groups, you've got like proposed. Does it mean the future? Does it mean suggested? Does it mean intended? What's the meaning here? Proposed by scientists, it's like suggested, isn't it? So I'd look um, in this category here, advised. I could choose, what does that do? I can't remember. Oh yeah, insert. So if I click insert, if you watch that word, it should just change. It does. Yeah. yeah. Recommended would work. Suggested would work. Not proposition, that wouldn't work. All right, so you do have to look at your categories. These categories will, you know, there are three kind of meaning senses of proposed. What sense is, is relevant to this context? It's that one. That's how most thesauruses work. They tend to put things in categories. Think of the activator. When you look in the activator, it puts things in categories, doesn't it? Which category do you mean? Is it number one, number six, number eight? Most thesauruses or synonym dictionaries work in this way. So, yeah, I don't know why I wasn't working for the other couple of words there, but most of the time it looks like it's going to work. I don't want increase. Source. Yeah, for some reason it's decided to work. We get increase, again, we get our categories upsurge, enlarge, intensify, rise, rapid increase in ultraviolet. Okay, it's this section here, isn't it? The problem here is, increase here is a noun, and if I select one of these, rise, I'm going to get a verb, aren't I? So I've got to, you know, you've got to put your grammar hat on when you do this sort of thing. And look, I'm going to select that one, escalate, nice word, or yeah, what's, what's the highest level word, like the least frequent, probably proliferate, but it won't work here. I'm going to select Escalate. Oh, what happened there? Back. I did the wrong thing. Ah, it's changed. It's changed. Why did that change? No, hang on. Rise. Rise. Escalate. That's what I need. I'm going to insert it. But that doesn't work grammatically. So what do I have to do? I have to change it to the noun, don't I? So, I'm just going to go escalation, right? You just have to do that little bit of grammar work. Now we've got a nice word. We've changed our vocabulary. See what you'll need to do. So obviously with, with thesaurus work, synonym dictionary work, synonyms in word, you're going to have to keep your grammar hat on, aren't you, when you're doing these changes. I think you need to think of synonym dictionaries and thesauruses and these sorts of things. They are suggestions. It throws up, you up a suggestion. You have to do the grammar work to get that word that you like into that sentence correctly. But don't forget your grammar hats when you're doing this. Alright.